Hi, Ari Travis here, and welcome back to our Adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we spoke to Dorn Plainstalker, and he teleported us magically to the top, the highest point in Thousand Needles. He told us to jump off a plank to show that we have faith. So we went over to the plank, we jumped off, we thought we were almost going to die. And then we teleported back to Dorn. And he told us that we completed the task, Test of Faith. And that was an interesting quest. Pretty quick quest, though. Got done pretty fast. I believe he has more tests for us. But before we do that, I'm going to talk to Elu over here. Have a little chat. What's going on, Elu? How may I aid you? I've been tasked to recruit more wyverns for the Master Windriders. Their numbers are growing, and I myself hope to become a Windrider one day. However, we cannot train enough wyverns to keep up with their demands. Perhaps you can help me, Flight Carrier. I need you to travel to High Perch to gather some wyvern eggs. From here, head northwest along the canyon walls to a ramp that will lead you into High Perch. Be careful, wyverns are very protective over their eggs. They will not be kind to intruders. Bring 10 High Perch wyvern eggs to Elu in Freewin Post. All right, Peace. well, let's do that. Sounds like a plan. Hopefully we can make it over here. Should probably go travel for him. We'll make it. We're good to go. Let's get our buffs. Got our buffs going. And then we're going to travel for him. And we gotta go to High Perch. Which I believe is around here. Let's let's go there. Oops, we lost got out of uh, travel form there for a second. All right, let's head over to High Perch. That's where we're going today. We're gonna try to steal some wyvern eggs. It's terrible. It's terrible. Stealing children from their families so they can become wind riders. Fly across Azer Azeroth, dropping people off. I guess that's how they do it, you know? They don't just train them themselves. They don't, you know, raise them or feed them. They just steal. Steal the eggs. Or maybe they do train them and raise them themselves. But maybe, yeah, the demands are just too high that they need to steal now. So there's a shaman named Jaromir. Maybe we'll see Steel Snap today. The... Hyena that we've never seen yet. Anyone need Arakata? A lot of quests going on in Thousand Needles. Just trying to get as many done as we can. It's not a bad questing zone, if you don't mind a, a desert, can't it does, it's like a canyon slash desert, feels like. Is that high perch right there? Or is it over here? Is that how you get the high perch? That might be it. Is that it? We'll check that. Check this out. I think these, these harpies might want some... We might have a problem with us going up here. We're about to maybe get into a fight with this one. Screeching rogue feather. I hate harpies the most. Of all the classes in the game, I mean the monsters. Harpies are the most annoying. I was not a fan of the screeching sound. There's tons of them. Like, it's like every zone has harpies. They seem to be everywhere. Okay, well, now we're in cat form. Okay, this doesn't look like the right way. But let's check out and see what's in this cave. This is the rogue feather den. That's where all the rogue feathers chill. We're looking for wind riders. Let's 
It's good we're getting some wool cloth though. It's always good. Didn't seem to be much in here, just a couple harpies. It's getting beat up. But yeah, the cues. Cues have been crazy in this game. Last couple days. Well, not the cues to get on the server, but the cues to do, uh. To do, um. That was a big cave, actually. I think we got. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah the AV cues have been over 25 minutes on both sides. Pretty brutal. I think I put a nice bleed on this one. Should be good. This guy will just. Okay, what the heck's going on? Why can't I put this on myself? Okay. You need to fight this guy? I hope I don't die here. It's gonna be a tight, tight fight. It's interesting. Good that, it's good that they run. She would have put up a fight. Well, I don't think it's in there. So we're kind of uh, delaying the inevitable here. That we're going to end up leaving. So might as well get out of here. We'll just keep going down until we find the hippogriff. The griffins, or whatever they're called, the hippogriffs. Get away from me! Yeah. Cheetah. You can't catch a cheetah. It's just too fast. You can't catch a cheetah. It's weird how you don't have to do like a crazy quest to get this form. Like aquatic form, you had to do some pretty crazy quest. I forget the other form that took that took a bit to get. I think it was I don't know it was bear form. Yeah, you had to do a quest for bear form, I believe too. Can we pass it? Elder cloud serpent. Oh great. This cougar is gonna be able to keep up with me. I'm just running by everything. Scouting out the area. It's the beauty of this tra travel form. They're just too fast, man. <laughs> so deal with this pester. It's pester hide snarler. Just get to track our bookmarks here. But yeah, the cues have been terrible on, on Feralina. It's like 24 minutes, 30, 30 minutes just to get in. It's pretty rough. Kind of can't wait until they release uh, BWL. I'll spice the game up a bit. I think the best thing or funnest thing to do right now, in my opinion, is uh, pre-made Warsong Gulches. Would be most likely the, the most fun thing to do. High perch wyvern. So here's the eggs. And um, here's the wyverns. I guess we'll deal with this one. I just want to try to have a fight with one. Oh, we missed. That's not good. Seems like they don't have much armor because they're going down pretty quick. Sound like feral. Sound like druids in feral form. Okay, let's get an egg. Got to get ten of these guys. There we go. We got one. What? What the heck? Okay, so they put a a poison on you. And that poison doesn't allow you to stay in stealth. 
Okay, we have to get this high perch consort. It's good that we got to hit him with our our shred there. Yeah, the game's an interesting spot. People, some people are thinking Carolina on the server that I'm on. One of the most high populated servers. Oh, sanguine trousers. Can't wear them cloth. Pretty nice though. Yeah, some people are thinking the game, uh, game on Fairlina's or Fairlina's dying a bit. Server pops going down. It makes sense because I think BGs are uh, not as fun as everyone thought they were going to be. <laughs> Which makes sense because hey, you know these BGs have been out for over a decade. You know it's nothing new. But uh, the only thing that's new about it is that this is WoW Classic, I guess. Okay, well, here's another egg. I'm gonna go for this high perch. Concert. Yeah, it feels like the game's uh, slowly, I don't know. Less people are playing, but you wanna know why I think it really is? Why else people are playing? It's because of Christmas. Christmas holidays. I think the game will start, uh, it'll bring back a bit more life when, uh, Blackwing Lair comes out. Because that gives people a lot more than just one raid day. A lot of people now are just, um, well, that's a broken egg. Oh, okay. A lot of people now just clear, uh, well, my guild. We clear Anixia and, uh, MC in one day. Well, not, well, not one entire day, but, like, I don't know, a couple hours, you know what I mean? So, there isn't much raiding content right now, and, um, the PvP, uh, is just, like, world and, uh, two BGs. But you want to know what? I think this is, like, a, a good thing for Blizzard, because, uh, the new raid's coming out this month for retail, which should be big. So this is going to be a really good, good raid. It's got that old god in it. I can't believe I forgot his name. Zoth. And a Zoth. I forgot what the, the raid's called. Something Nihilotha or something like that? I don't know. But yeah, so this is going to be a pretty good raid. So maybe we'll start seeing a lot more of the players in Classic. Play retail on the side, maybe, maybe switch. Which would suck for classic, but it makes sense. Because, uh, that's brand new content. Supposedly they, uh, they took, took a lot of factors from classic in this new patch. There's no more Titan forging, so the best gear in the game will be from uh, Mythic Rating, which is cool. And that's how it should be, I believe. I wonder how PvP still goes. I think PvP pieces will probably still be of the same caliber, maybe. Or maybe Mythic Rating pieces will be the best now. For PvP as well. I don't know about that. Yeah, maybe if you're a really good PvPer, you can get really nice gear off the start, but I just, I know that it's tougher to, I think they've reduced the item level you can get on, uh, on Mythic Plus, which is the hard dungeons, time dungeon runs, you know what I mean? You need a dungeon in, in a certain amount of time, and each uh, level gets harder and harder, with more challenges, they call affix. And that was one of the coolest things that they brought into the game in Legion was Mythic Plus. Mythic Plus is an awesome, awesome system. For sure. Well, that was a great game. There's just so much to do. And now that they added Classic, it's, it's ridiculous. So we get seven eggs. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll play retail. We'll see. I'm just, I'm thinking. 
I'm thinking about it. There's stuff to do on my warrior, obviously, like farm gold. And maybe try to get... I don't want to try to get rank right now. Maybe it's actually a good time to get it. Like that week where everybody had Christmas stuff, if there was a guy who like went hard, there were a couple guys who went hard during Christmas. And they're just, they're probably flying by everybody this week. Or last week, I'd say, right? Yeah. No, 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 this week. It'd be this week, because it resets on Tuesday. Okay, there's, is that an egg we can get? So let's go, let's go get this wyvern. Yeah, I don't want rank 14. I just think that the amount of time commitment you gotta put into that loot, I don't know. It's pretty crazy. And with that time, you could be farming gold, you could be, you know, doing so many other things with your life. I don't know if that loot's worth it. It's good, it's supposedly it'll be good until AQ40. And once AQ40 comes around. Probably the AQ gear will be better, but I don't know. Some sets have really nice traits on it, like the Warrior set that I was looking at, that I'm kind of interested in. Reduces the, uh, the time on your intercept, which is your like one of your charge abilities. So that's pretty strong, especially in PvP. All right, well we got high perch wyvern eggs. Now it's time. I guess, I don't know, we can run back, we can hearth back. I think the plan is to hearth back, so we'll hearth back. Collected all of our eggs. And we get to hearth back and we'll go speak with our, our friend over here. He wants to be a wind rat. Mr. Elu. There's the lazy hunter. Got one of those like A's with an X in it. Wind Rider, flag carrier. Have you retrieved the wyvern eggs that I seek? I'm really anxious to start the, my Wind Rider training. Perfect. These eggs I hope to take the next step to become a Wind Rider. Here is a token of my appreciation. May good hunting always shine upon you, Druid. Heavy armor kit. It's all right, I guess. Get a little bit of armor on our gear. Be careful. 19 silver. So that was all right. Interesting quest. Got some wyvern eggs, so uh, we can get more wyverns here at Free Wind Post. So, yeah. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.